Hi, welcome back to my channel. By the way, this is my room. Hmm. Last time we learned the importance of noting significant details in the story that we are reading. If you fail to watch our video about it, I put its link in the description box below. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I upload here in my channel. What you saw are examples of different facial expressions. Facial expressions that shows happiness, confusion, sadness, surprise, anger, and excitement. In 2014, the University of Glasgow in Scotland, UK concluded that there are 42 muscles in the human face. In other words, that's 42 opportunities you have to help convey your message meaning to say those muscles we have in our face helps us produce different facial expressions and those facial expressions affects how other people understand and react to what we are saying for example observe how the liso chaponda talks in front of the audience you see the facial expression he shows as he talks made his act more entertaining and be more reason enough for the audience to laugh at his jokes. By the way, he is a comedian who finished third place in Series 11 of Britain's Got Talent and he was also the golden buzzer choice for Amanda Holden in that season. Now, let us have a short activity. But before we proceed with that, First, I want you to look for anybody who can help you to be their audience because you are going to practice reading with proper facial expressions in front of them. I will give you one minute to look for a partner before I give you further directions. You can ask your mom, dad, or anyone at your home or whoever, wherever you are at the moment. Okay, timer starts now. Okay, ready for our activity? Like what I've said earlier, you're going to practice reading with proper facial expressions in front of your chosen audience. I prepared four stories that requires different facial expressions for you to read. I will give you five minutes for each story so that you will have enough time 
to practice and allow you to have as many attempts as you could. After reading each story, ask your audience if you were able to read it properly with the correct facial expression. If yes, and you still have remaining time, you may fast forward the video to the next story. If not, I suggest that you try to read it again and make use of the remaining time. Good luck! For your first story, remember that as you read it, your facial expression must be sad so that your audience will feel the emotion of longing and missing for the dog. If you'll be able to do it, then you'll do a good job. So let's start!
Well done! So, for your second story, your facial expression must be happy so that your audience will feel the emotion of joy about having a playful cat as a pet. If you'll be able to do it, then you'll do a good job. Let's start!
you're doing great. Now, for your third story, remember that your facial expression must be angry so that your audience will feel the emotion of being mad and annoyed with a stupid rat. If you'll be able to do it, then again, you'll do a good job. Let's start!
Awesome! You finally made it after this point. For your fourth story, remember that your facial expression should look like you're having pity towards something. Quite difficult, isn't it? Don't worry. I know you can do it. I believe in you, so believe also in yourself. You must be able to show this facial expression so that your audience will feel pity to the poor animal in the story that you are going to read. Now, take a deep breath. Then exhale. Ready? Let's start.
Okay, now we are going to have a seat work. And before we start, I will give you 30 seconds for you to prepare yourself and get a pen and paper. Okay? <laughs> Ready? Okay, so for the instruction regarding our seat work, we're going to choose the letter of the correct facial expression for each given situation. Write the letter of your chosen answer only, okay? No need to copy and answer. I will give you five minutes to answer this question. Let's start.
Okay, time's up. So, let's now check your work. Here's the answer key for the seat work. I will give you one minute to check all your answers. All set! I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. I also hope that from now on, you will apply proper facial expression whenever you are reading in front of other people. In fact, you can also use this skill in speaking in front of other people. If you do this, you will become an effective speaker. By the way, please comment down below the score that you've got in our seat work earlier. And again, to help me be encouraged in making more videos like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload in my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye!